hi all so in this video we are going to see about what is exception and what are escalations in the process model or when we use user input task so for that we need a process model which contains a user input task so i am considering the same process model uh, the basic one that we have created many times so in this user input task we'll try to see what are exceptions and what is escalation in here as well so for that let us uh, let us first uh, go to the properties of this user input task and here only we can see two things are there escalations and exceptions okay so if we have to configure any exceptions and we click on exceptions and here we can see like uh, three events are there receive message timer or any rule we can add so we'll use the timer one and here we can click on the configure setup uh -huh. so here it is saying that follow the exception flow so actually exception is a kind of flow okay so what happens is if in the user screen if user haven't taken or haven't submitted the form after a specific amount of time then it will take a, a default path or it will take another path and so that's what we use exception for for example uh, we can skip this node for one minute let me configure like one minute for now okay uh, let us click on okay okay and once we clicked on okay here you can see like just like other nodes have these points similarly this can also be configured so let me connect this uh, to the end node now what has happened here it it has given me a red line now it it tells that i have configured one exception here with this timer one if user didn't take any action for one minute uh, within one minute didn't submit the form of cancel it, it will get auto cancel and it will go to the end node let us sub save and publish the process model and then uh, we'll uh, okay then we'll debug the process as well click on start process for debugging okay now uh, till one minute it the process will remain active okay and after one minute it will take this default part if we didn't do anything so actually this user input task contains nothing but just a simple form so some data are there uh, right uh, for example uh, let it open huh? name is there and email address is there so this is the form that the user want uh, user has to fill but uh, suppose uh, till one minute if they have not uh, fill, filled the form then what can happen this exception will uh, see so we'll see like what happens after that similarly there is another uh, uh, point that is escalation so escalations are what suppose uh, there is a time uh, we want to notify the users uh, there are some deadlines like before two days or before three days or within five hours this t a certain task needs to be completed and uh, we so that um, we have to send a notification to the user alert the user in some way then we use escalations i guess one minute have passed and let's see the uh, this flow so you can see that this user input task is now kind of disabled and it has taken this pink or purple sorry purple path is now in the end node and if i try to open the form and submit it it won't it it will give me an error like task could not be submitted the task has already been submitted so it gives a error like this so it uh, tells like so now we have to see about the escalations one so for that what we will do is we'll go to the escalation and we can add escalation so when you will click on add escalation you will get two points first of all configure the timer event to activate escalation first of all when you want to activate the escalation and similarly we have to configure the timer after one minute but since one minute it is also taking the exception flow let me uh, increase that time to here I will click on edit okay and here let me take it 
three minutes for the safety but was fine and now uh, I have configured the escalation path as well so for the escalation the symbol is like this one arrow is there like this task is escalated it has some escalation so I have configured like after one minute it will get escalation okay and we can click on ok for here and there are certain actions like a uh, second point is what action should be taken like uh, I have configured some escalation like after one minute the task will escalate but what will actually be the escalation so here we can select uh, in the escalation we can reassign the task to some another user we can change the priority of the task as well like uh, raise the priority or lower the priority or we can change the priority uh, priority as well to normal high or anything or we can select some alert as well so let us consider some alert and here what we will do is we will uh, I will write my email address okay and we'll see uh, so to email to email address and here let me write my email address kumar dot vikas 18 and the rate outlook.com fine so it will convert this text into an email address this field uh, this function thus words converts a value to email address fine and it converted into email and task escalation notice that's what it is let's save it and send it okay so now save and publish this process model and let's click on debugging so when we click on debugging so what will happen is after one minute uh, we will get an escalation mail that this task has been escalated we can write a custom mail as well or any other information about the task as well we can give in the mail so after one minute it this will give so I already triggered the process once and I have got the mail as well so I will show you what kind of mail I got so here I you can see I have taken a screenshot like the task send email uh, has been escalated and this is the task escalation notice so this is what the content was so in this way like we can get the escalation mails so uh, so exceptions are uh, exceptions are used uh, to take a default path after some time if the user did not submit the form or uh, then it will do th his work and it will take the default path and the escalation will do what it will raise the priority or it will notify the user in some way like uh, there is some task to complete you have to complete it and similarly like for the other activities as well we do get uh, this kind of if I take sub process example so for sub process as well you will get escalation and exceptions both uh, okay and for the unattended nodes like which don't have much interaction so for this we have exceptions only escalation is not there so that's all in this video thank you